Vitamin C is, uh, it's only a vitamin to certain creatures like primates, humans, um, guinea pigs, some birds, fruit bat, all other creatures, horses, elephants, dogs, they all make it. They all make ascorbic acid, ascorbates. Turns out the, the reason it's in all creatures is because it's absolutely necessary, essential, fundamental requirement of life is ascorbates. They have many, many different consequences, but the one thing that they do do is they donate an electron. So they're called electron donors, they're called uh, reducing agents, or also called antioxidants. That's what an antioxidant is. An oxidized molecule called a free radical means it's lacking an electron. So the antioxidant comes along and donates the electron and neutralizes it. So vitamin C does that. It will go around in your body and quench all these free radicals being formed that could cause problems. So we all need a certain amount in our daily diet, which none of us get. We all are walking around with subclinical scurvy. We're not getting enough vitamin C, we're not having enough antioxidant. When vitamin C is also used in the body, biological reaction called the Fenton reaction, and that's where vitamin C donates an electron to iron or copper. When that happens, it produces H2O2, hydrogen peroxide. It turns out that if you get enough ascorbate in your blood, all the tissues it's, it's, are producing hydrogen peroxide. Healthy cells love that. They take hydrogen peroxide and they turn it into water and oxygen. It's really good for them. Cancer cells don't have an enzyme called catalase. They can't do that, so they're killed because the peroxide burns them. 